in Illustrator, if you guys work with the uh, the symbol sprayer tool at all, you probably you may not use it that often, um, but sometimes you do have a need. So suppose that you want to spray grass or get a bunch of grass on the page or make clouds or things like that in your illustration. You can use the symbol sprayer tool to spray those symbols on the page. Now, I'm going to show you a few tips that are, I just think, lifesavers as far as the symbol sprayer. So if you select the symbol sprayer tool, go over to the right, you'll see the symbols panel. I'm going to grab from the, uh, the libraries that are available here. Um, just a little bit of grass. So I'll go to nature. And you can, of course, draw your own, but I'll go to nature. I get lazy. And I can see I've got a little grass in here somewhere. There we go. So I will click on it. I'll go to grass four. There we go. And I'll close this up. And you guys can see I now have a symbol selected right there. I'll come out here. And first things first, if you want to start drawing with this, you really can't. You can just go out and start clicking and dragging. I can just do this. Click, hold down, drag, and you've got yourself spraying. Now what happens is when you do this, you're going to create what's called a symbol set. Every time you start spraying with this set selected, it's going to add to that set. So it's almost like it's grouping all of these symbol instances, they call them, together. If you deselect, like for instance, I go up here and deselect that set, and I go to my sprayer tool and I'm like, oh, let me spray some more grass, start spraying, I'm actually creating a whole new set. So you, you've got to pay attention to that, you guys. You really do, because some people get a little freaked out by that. If I go to the Layers panel and take a look, I will see we have multiple symbol sets down here now. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So if later on you come in here and you're like, oh, I just deleted that, by the way. I'm going to go in and select this again and start spraying more. If I have this symbol sprayer selected, I can hold down Control, click, and I've got that symbol set selected again. Say that again 10 times. Spray, and you can add more. Now, I want to do this. I want to go in and edit these now. Okay, so I want to make it faster. I want to add more grass, clump it together further, etc. So here's what we can do. If you already have a set created and you just want to change some of its properties, you can select it with the black arrow, go over to the symbol sprayer, the tool, double click on it, and you'll get the symbolism tools options dialog box. Now diameter is how big the actual uh, area that you're spraying, basically. Intensity is how 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 hard and fast it's going to throw the grass out there, basically. Intensity way down, you're only going to get, you know, one every so often. So watch, I'll go to intensity one, I'll click OK, and start spraying again. Click, drag, one, 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 one. So it's not very intense. If I double click the symbol sprayer tool again here, and crank intensity way up, click OK, start spraying, you'll see it's going to start putting more faster, okay? Now you'll notice they're kind of far apart out there. With this symbol set selected, I'll double click the sprayer tool. You guys will notice what's called symbol set density. If you want to pack, let's say, more grass together, you crank the density up. So I can put this up to 10. Now what's really cool is if you select a symbol set that's out there already, you can change its density just by changing this number here and it will affect it. Check that out. So I'll go to 5, I'll go to 10. Let's crank them together. So that's density. Brings them closer. I'll click OK just to show you. And if I spray with the density way up, You'll see what I get. It's just going to go, 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 go. We can get some real grass. There we go. All right, now if I double-click back on the sprayer tool, you'll see that we also have a bunch of tools we can work with here and properties and stuff we can set, whatever. I want to show you guys shortcuts, two, two main shortcuts for working with the symbol sprayer. I'll click OK. Now, if I want to go in and let's say I want to resize some of these or color them or rotate them, whatever, we have a series of tools over here we can use. The shifter, the scruncher, the sizer, the spinner, they're all S's, okay? If I go to the sizer, for instance, and come out here and click and drag, I can start to make some of these a little bit bigger. Oh, sorry, this is not the sizer. This is the uh, shifter, my bad. So if I start dragging that sort of thing, I can kind of move these around a little bit, um, etc. Now, if you want to affect more grass, like let's say I want to take a whole area and drag it, your cursor needs to be bigger. So what we can do is we can use the bracket key. So I use the right bracket, it gets bigger. Just keep pressing it, press, 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 press. Left bracket gets smaller. You get it about the size you want. You can then click and drag, and it starts to affect more, a bigger area, okay? Now, we've got a lot of other tools we can work with, but I want to show you a nice little shortcut to get to those. Instead of having to go back to the stupid tools over here, here's what you can do. This shortcut, I never, never remembered forever in a day, but I do remember it now. If you hold down Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, and if you have a two-button mouse, this is the key, you can right-click 
and hold the right click mouse down and drag. And you'll see all the tools. So what we can do is go to, let's say I go to the spinner tool. I get to it, you'll see that the actual tool in the center there changes. I apologize for this, but I let go of my mouse, I let go of the key, and we're on the tool. Now we can change our brush size, if we want to affect more. We then go out, click, start dragging, and do our thing. So we can change tools. Now this is really stupid for grass, I know you guys. Let me undo, undo, undo. But once again, if I hold down Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, right click, hold down, drag to one of the tools, I can I can change them. I can change the tool. Now, if you guys are on a laptop, let's say you're on a Mac laptop. I had to do this on a Mac laptop. It's kind of annoying. You can hold down the Option key, hold down Control, and then drag with the little mouse pad. You know the the pad out there, and you can get the same thing to work. You guys can get it to work on just about anything you do. So, like I said, Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, right click, hold down, drag to the tool you want and then just start doing your thing, dragging, etc. So, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys a few quick tips for working with the uh, the symbol sprayer, working with symbol sets, just some really kind of simple, cool shortcuts that you can use to make your life a little bit easier so you can go out there and, you know, draw all the grass and clouds you want.